Good evening, Sensei. Hi. Good evening. Thank you. Ah, I hope you all enjoyed your little break. It was a technical break. We're okay now. Ah, okay. So as uh, Lauren mentioned, I chit chat a bit about uh, how you did your follow up with Easy the Eye. You seem to enjoy it. Seem to get a lot potentially a lot out of it. Let's let's hang out there for a little bit. Comments on Easy the Eye. Hello out there in the viewing world. How animated you were two weeks ago. Where did it go? Well, since I have a tangent, but I was holding that in case people wanted to go directly to easy the eye. Um, you let me know when you want it, okay? What, what's it get? It's got a tangent. Not not necessarily directly easy the eye, but it, for me it is. Are you saying you want to go out on a tangent with us? Is that is that what you said? Exactly, exactly. I'll hold it and see if other people, you know, are more online with easy the eye. Okay. There's got to be something about easy the eye, people. Hello out there. We got to do something to stop Kenny from going out on a tangent. Well, Sensei, this is Lauren, and I'll start yeah. off. And, okay. Uh, 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 the following day, so we, you know, we we were here in the virtual dojo on January 7th and the next Saturday morning, I taught a class in Mountain View and I just uh, picked up where you left off and uh, we used the, uh, the sighing, ah, you know, the, the literally the, the sense of easing and relaxing and, you know, had everybody imagine what would be really satisfying to have done. And now that they've done it, they can, relax about it and easy their eye and make that sound and making the sound helped everyone, myself included. So, and, uh, you know, as a, as a, as a quick trick, it really works. Yeah. I had a friend, uh, uh, Aikido, he started with, uh, he was a judo partner of mine way back. And then he, when I came back to teach Aikido, he was my first student or virtually my first good boy. Um, and he was hospitalized for something or other. And he, he learned a trick in the hospital that if he groaned, it took away a lot of the pain. And the doctor came by while he was groaning and sort of said, what a wimp you are or something. And my friend got kind of irked because it wasn't he was a wimp. He was a, kind of a tough guy. Uh, but he, he caught that that uh, uh, what you're calling a sigh, what he was calling a, a, a groan, something was going on there. Something was happening that was better. So, yeah. What's the connection between groaning and chanting at that point then, huh? Groaning and chanting. Uh, yeah, probably ending up at the same, doing the same stuff in a different form. <laughs> I remember your, your cartoons about um, some guy doing bodybuilding and really enjoying it and some guy doing some other kind of manual labor and really hating it and kind of pointing out it really has a lot to do with your viewpoint. Yeah. Uh, Bob, Bob, Steve here. I yeah. actually wasn't going to say anything tonight because I'm still recovering from knee surgery. But since you brought up that last example, it, it kind of touched me. You want to uh, groan, Steve? Is yeah, that where yeah. you're heading? Yes. Yeah, very, very. After, after surgery, I had it out last Friday, and uh, apparently, I don't know if it was uh, the uh, anesthesia or the oxycodone uh, painkiller, but I think it was the anesthesia, I had almost nonstop hiccups and gasping for breath uh, from, uh, when I, from then until I came home on Wednesday. The knee surgery was great but the other was excruciating. But what I found myself having to do was that same kind of thing. You get to a place 
where you just, oh, you know, it's, it's like an opening that has to break away from being locked into this, this dynamic. Hey, place level, yeah. Yeah, so that, I, I just had to yeah. bring that up. Yeah, I, I think this follows um, the many different forms that we've presented, uh, letting go, downtime, anything dark, it's cool, uh, trading in, whatever I got, I'm going to trade it in for something different or brand new or at this level. So we have many, many words for that. And we just added a groaning <laughs> and uh, whatever. Uh, so whichever word or form that you like, fine. Okay. Uh, the easy, the eye is a very good one because it starts us distinguishing the difference uh, between the Bobby character and something else that's there at first. It's, but I'm Bobby and, and they're sort of wrapped so tight. Uh, you can't really distinguish. So that easy, the eye helps to, I don't know the word, delineate, catch the difference between the character that's assembled there in this world and this other piece that is free from, can be free from, and that one can move much easier, faster. If we take a 10 pound or a bobby uh, or a one by one, we try to move it into a, a Robert or a uh, two by two, uh, whatever other one I used, uh, it can be a little bit of work trying to move this heavy stuff into a finer, a little confusion there. But each of the eye can really move potentially effortlessly uh, quickly. It's not really stopped by dimensional walls. Uh, the nature of it is, is, is its freedom. So I, I, I like that you got a sense of, of that. I hope that came out right. Brad said yes, so we're okay. Uh, hello, we're still back on. Any observations about easy the eye? Hello out there in the world. Hi, Sensei, this is Justin. Can you hear me? Clearly. Uh, I was experimenting with the connection between breathing as a vehicle for moving into an easier, more settled framework. And I noticed along the lines of what you said that as my sense of character was softening or unraveling somehow, my thoughts and feelings and discomfort in the body would also settle. And I felt a, a sense of, of stillness and peace and, um, and a, a sense of not having to work so hard. I felt more at ease overall. If the easy, the eye can bring you to a different level quickly, effortlessly. And so I think he's saying at a level of being at ease, uh, then that level of at ease, there will eventually be a character who has a lot of at ease naturally. Uh, there's more there, but, but yeah. So uh, it should get simpler. Uh, as you catch these sort of simple introductory patterns, this one to two by to three by, the Bobby to Robert and Nado, the whatever forms we use, there's a couple of others, but uh, once you get the set, how it works, you can start to move through that. I used to use a checkerboard example, dumb example, uh, but I use it a lot back in the day. First you go, uh, one move to the next square, to the next square, to the next square. And that's how you play the game. Okay, square to square to square. Then you reach the end and they king you. Now the king can move across the board, zoom, zoom. He doesn't have to go one at a time, zoom, zoom. The queen. Uh, so, huh? The queen. In checkers? Oh. oh, you're back to chess. Get off Sorry. the chess game. I'm talking checkers here. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. 
Uh, so eventually, with these simple basics, and you get used to them, you practice with them a bit, uh, eventually it will get faster. And now watch out for that word, because I don't want you to uh, have an, an uh, awareness about faster and you lose the experience, but there's an experiential faster after a bit. But don't mind doing your basics. Step at a time, get the flavor, uh, learn the, what should we call it, ground rules, how it works, and then fast will, will naturally happen. Uh, I'm still open for any observations you had about Easy the Eye. And say, this is Tom. <clears throat> hey, Tom. Hey, um, I like what you said about ex this experiential aspect of Easy the Eye, because for me, the last time was getting, and I know for some people I expressed that the eye or the focus there expressed a lot of and self-criticism, whether it's of the self or the other. And easy to eye just represented more of an experience. It, it, you know, I think at the end we were focusing around what what what's really the essence of, of this. And the experience was for me the essential part of easy to eye. So since then, I've noticed when I'm getting caught up in a spiral of judgment internally for myself or others. It's just a sort of taking a basic, a breath and centering easy, okay. realizing that the experience is, is there. It's available if I would just allow it to happen. Um, yeah. I, that was my take from the last. Yeah. I, I don't know if I mentioned it in the week, in the, the Friday we were talking about easy of the eye, but in the Esalen days, uh, one of my key words, and I wasn't making much of it, but I would say easy, with a lot of flavor, easy. And a year later, two years later, some people would come back for a follow-up workshop and they would tell me that's a magical word. And I was like a little surprised at first, but they were playing with it. And when they easied, again, they're at a different dimension finer level of everything. And so they thought it was a magic word. And, and I had to suddenly start paying more attention to what that word meant. <laughs> Even though I had presented it to them, I had to go, whoa, it's magic for them. What's going on here? And get into it more and more. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's say something quick, Sensei, if that's okay. For me, the easy the eye. I almost it's recognize dusty. the voice. Yes. It's okay. dusty. Um, yes. For me, when you say easy the eye, it feels like it's like in the muscle fiber, like it's connecting me a little closer to the layer of my muscles. There's a settling down and kind of I meet myself there. And after a bit, the easy the eye will, what to say, Disen is this important saying? Let me shoot it off and see. Uh, will disengage from the body feeling. Uh, there'll be a, a sense of a body, a positioning of a body, uh, but it's not the body kind of thing. So as you continue, uh, your sense of body, as we go more and more and more, uh, will, will change. Uh, for example, physical body to a physical body with an energy flow that you realize there's energy around the body, maybe Hatha Yoga or some beginning Tai Chi or something, or beginning maybe Aikido. Uh, and you continue, and then there's an energy body, and you continue, and it gets finer and finer energy body. And you continue, and right there, eventually the words will have to change. I, I like the, the sense of a field body, okay? Uh, just... And yours might be a bit different, but anyway, just that the, the body sense uh, is sort of not there, but you're still a body within that, which in its glow radiation uh, radiates through energy body, physical body. Did I blurt out too much there? No, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Sensei, this is Patrick. Patrick? Uh, Patrick, can I call you on your question? Uh, 
Ed, over the sure. weekend or something. Yeah. Sure, please. Okay. Yeah, for me, there's a connection between easy the eye and being here, being present. That it's difficult to be present if the eye isn't easy. And if if I'm here, just here, then it's difficult to be sort of busy with, you know, the eye, and the eye sort of taking control over things. He said a couple of things there. Let's see. Um, yeah. Uh, again, I'll say, don't go anywhere. It's here, but it's an inner here, finer dimension, but it's here. Okay. Again, not just as an idea, but as an actual experience here. Easy, inner, finer, here. Okay. And we tried to show that with just arm raising. Okay. Easy, settle, open, and here the arm moves a bit easier. Not perfect, but noticeably better. Easy the eye. Representing a better level and at a better level. Uh oh, here it's starting to get, there's something moving before my hand moved. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, so yeah, here, here. Don't go anywhere, it's here. <laughs> We've been affected a lot by the spiritual heaven is up there. And uh, it was probably good in its day to get people more first aware of finer. But then there comes a point where, but that's leading people a bit astray. It's really good, good in its day, great. But then we need an Ocente to come through and say, by the way, in case you haven't noticed, uh, it's finer all over here, under and upper and upper and under. It's, it's here, finer, 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 not just up there, over there. I have to go to heaven. Heaven is here. Finer and finer and finer and finer. Blah, blah, blah. How are we doing out there, people? <laughs> Nothing? Come on. And say, I think that's, that's great, this sort of finer, Easy, easy the eye is almost like a basic of getting one closer to self. Yeah, well, easy the eye, the eye as it continues to easy with itself, the word will change. And we say, we could say I self, intermediate here, I self, and then after a bit, self. Mm -hmm. And then whatever words you like, I like here, I'll give you some, some of mine, uh, a clearer self. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a more original self. Yeah. Yes. And then eventually I'll throw out the word transparent self <laughs> as my kind of lineage of I to self to finer, 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 finer. And that goes the distance. Certain things go the distance. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, center and circle go the distance. One of the original moves someplace was in a center circle layout, or maybe a two force layout. So two forces, the beat of two forces goes the distance. A character finer and finer, finer goes the distance. Uh, tracking your own qualities. Well, you said to catch your own qualities that make you up, uh, but inner finer, they're finer qualities and they can go the distance. Uh, so certain things are, are, what's the word? Have longevity, have uh, ongoing truth to, to them. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Somebody Since stop me before I go mad. Maybe the words are, they're, they're fundamental truths. They're axioms. They apply across general cases. Yeah. They're not a one-off. They're universal observations uh, thank you i was uh does this fit in now i'm not sure i was going to use this someplace yeah. uh katya what's the bush camilla camilla do you know Cam 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 you have camellias you have camellias in front of your porch thank you <laughs> camellias yeah okay thank camellias. you yes. okay one bush produces yellow 
They're just coming out now. And there's yellow camellias. This other bush produces red camellias. Just hang out and you'll learn something, Katya. <laughs> Jesus. It's hard being married. Uh, <laughs> where am I going, Nancy? You screwed me up here. Uh, oh, red and yellow. That, uh, that, that how the bush itself works, that it needs soil and has its downtime and regrowth, uh, that's the same for the yellow or the red. So you each have your own color scheme. Uh, but what we're trying to lay out, and, and Lauren was trying to use some good words there. You'll have to remind me again, Lauren. Uh, but there are basics of the, the bush itself that are basics for everybody. Now, within that, we're going to have yellow and reds and add to it. We're going to have roses and whatever. Apple trees and all that stuff. So, so, but you're still within basic laws. Right. Yeah. Yes. Right. So a, a lot of our work is just trying to present basic laws. So you've got sort of a reference. Now, who you are in the reference, hey, that's you. I'm not telling you to be Nado. I'm not telling you to be an Aikido teacher, God forbid. Uh, uh, but in following the proper patterns, you can realize you, whatever the right words are here, experience you, be the, be the finer of you. Yeah, within a certain type of structure. So as best as we can understand the structure of creation, we're trying to lay that out best we can. Okay. Ah, that was a lot said. Hey, out there. This is Joanna. Um, I was wondering, I had some recently some uh, stressful situations um, that I tried to do a couple of uh, games, uh, one by one, two by two, three by three. I really felt better uh, to deal with the situations. But recently I noticed that I felt better. And then I respond to the, to the other person that was related in this situation, but I wasn't responding to myself. And then when I was over the situation, I got back to myself and the stressful, the pressure, it was still there. So I don't know if I did the, the full job or if I, or if I did half yeah. of the practice, but um, I deal okay. better with the situation. But uh, I, I got back, uh, yeah. okay. Maybe, maybe uh, you hit a better level. Okay, yeah. but a one by two by game when you're dealing with somebody right there and then sounds a bit, it's a good practice, uh, but not when I'm active. Uh, that's why easy the eye, bing, can be faster. A anyway, just that aside, uh, that you hit a better place, I thought you said. And then when you were finished, you moved out of that better place back to your original norm. You move back into your body. Nah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, and people have come up with this before. Uh, can we sustain this better? Can we, I don't know, for lack of words, hold it better? And, and yes, again, with a little practice, and again, more the experience of it, not just the awareness of it. If you just have, are aware of it, good, but it'll dissipate really fast. If you have a memory of it, it dissipates really fast. So part of the awareness, its partner is the experience. And as you get that down more, the experience, it has more longevity. It'll last for a, quite a while, not forever, but quite a while. Yeah, and maybe the situation is because it's dealing with longevity. It's uh, family stuff and it's anyway, it's, it's long process trying to deal in a different way right now since I have been doing this, these classes with you for almost two years, as Lauren said in the beginning. So it's kind of uh, shifting this, this period of, of, practicing, of practicing, of trying different practices or different games. Could be easy DI, could be downtime, whatever, but still 
anyways, it still needs more work, but uh, I was wondering, hey. since, yeah. Oh, Sensei said he, he still trains, and he didn't mean falling on the mat. What was he training? I still train. Not comparing myself with those sensei, but I still train. I'm still plugging along and opening up for it. So, hey, of course, of course. Okay, thank you. The people that want this magic thing to happen where, oh, uh, what's the spiritual word? She's just not on tonight. Is, is it? Satori. Satori. Yeah, Satori. Hey, uh, I got it all right now because I had this flash. Uh, questionable people, very questionable. Well, let's not even get into that. It's a, it's an exercise. It's kind of like a daily exercise. Okay. Anyway, blah blah. Uh, and one more. Oh hell, I lost it. One second. Let me. One. We asked for comments, and I got one. Well, two. Uh, Patrick, I'll get to yours on the phone. Uh, uh, for the things I'd like to hear more about or things I need to work on, Liz, letting go of who you are on one level to be able to move into the next level. Okay, so far basics, letting go of Bobby to move into the level that mixes, produces Robert, okay? Don't go away. Don't go away. What'd you do? I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Here it is. I'm feeling a little stuck or hitting a plateau in a few areas and wondering if my attachment to the security of the familiar might be part of what's keeping me stuck. This is, it's answering its own questionnaire. I think, okay. I'm wondering if my attachment is keeping me stuck there, why this transition to the next better doesn't happen. Yeah, so we have a variety of things. Uh, uh, let go of those things you're hanging on to. You know you're hanging on to things. I mean, I'm Bobby in Bobby's world. Of course, I'm hanging on to things. Okay? I got rent to pay next month. I was going to throw in a little in the donations I'm coming in. Sorry. Uh, easy. Downtime. Die out. I used to practice dying. That was my form of running around with downtiming. So I practice dying. And in dying, Bobby's worries, but I got to pick up my laundry next week. Bobby, you're dying. You don't give a shit about that. And you'd let it go. And whatever, you'd let it go because you were dying. Things that were important is Bobby weren't so important now. You're dying. So I practice dying on my couch in Tokyo. It was a fun game. And anyway, so I think uh, your own question is being answered here. Uh, I, I, I would, uh, yeah. As you hang out and ask and open and easy, uh, the intelligence of the system uh, in your system ought to start to show and point out, yes, yes. Uh, so, Easy the eye, letting go, down timing, trading in, uh, whatever style is comfy for you, whatever words do it for you, be prepared for a change of words as you continue finer and finer. Uh, but other than that, sure. But I, I think you're starting to answer your own question. Okay, how are we doing people? We all alert and alive out there. Hi. Roger that. Suspense is killing us. Oh, you're waiting for magic. You better change channels. See? 
already oh. semi magic. Ta da! The sponge. The bowl of water. Okay. <clears throat> now, I, I don't know how to do this. Let me just first go around on this. Let's see. Okay. So you're in your Bobby, your Robert, your two by three by your a fair day, good day, great day, and whatever. And you sit, settle, easy, open, easy the eye. As you easy the eye, you move into a different dimension. Okay, here we go. We're starting to enter this and we'll have a sense of being a little uh, roomier in some form or other. Okay. Yeah. And continue to settle, easy, open, because we want you to go deeper in. You have the ability of hovering over and being aware of it. And in your awareness, get some feeling from it. Therefore, you think you're experiencing. Ah, careful. Okay, we need full experience. Okay, not just a a close by, oh, I can kind of get a sense of it. That's it, I'm out of here. Okay, so this guy here has to know a little bit how the game works. Okay, easy the eye, easy the eye. You enter a different realm, a different dimension, inner, finer level of you, inner dimension. Okay, so here you are. Now, this water is not water anymore. It's an uh, uh, the next, next, whatever, finer energy dimension. Okay, it'll show either earlier as finer energies, you might feel the hum of it or something, a little bit more, and the qualities. We picked that up, I think, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I believe. Uh, some people, uh, uh, I think Florida Amy was bringing up uh, uh, in the family of love, what, what word, I forget what word Amy used. Uh, appreciation, no. Uh, anyway, it was in the family of love. Uh, somebody else brought up, oh God, I don't remember, calmness? We all did calmness as a group practice one, one time. Uh, okay, so as you become, as you ease the eye, enter into this next larger, you know, you're in the bowl. And as you continue to easy, you don't want to get stuck on being aware. All right. Uh, again, that's too soft and it's easy to get pushed back out, uh, back to an earlier level of, of you. Okay. Now, the words we've used historically are, oh, well, settle is a good one. Settle, ground, and I can't really use a lot of ground. Uh, roots, since you like the word roots, take root there, go deeper, take roots, roots. Uh, what we're doing with those words is continuing in that field of energy, easy and continuing to settle, okay? Now we're starting to get more experience. When we were here, we were uh, aware of it. Okay, and again, I have to say, careful, because your awareness, you think you're experiencing it. I would give you 10, 15, maybe for some people, 20% experience, just to make this up. But we need a full, blah, 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 deeper, deeper experience. Yes, you were aware. Now, its partner is the experience, the experience of it. Okay, and as you uh, as you fuller experience, fuller experience, easy the eye, fuller experience. Okay, now with that fuller of experience through that sponge, okay, it's under there, 
Uh, I'm just holding it up for you can see. But through that sponge, which is fully, yeah, full, it's, it's, it's been fully soaking, the character will begin to show. So here's all your qualities, the water, the sponge is aware of them and then goes deeper, more open and begins to really, really experience, really, really, really experience, okay? As you're open there, hang out there, continue to experience the character that's there through that sponge, lack of words right now, through that sponge can begin to show. Okay. And again, the character will be more balanced in his world center circle. And there's still an easy the eye that's here. That's a different component. Okay. So this better character is not, oh, that's me. No, that's a character. They come and go. Okay. I'm an I self. I'm an easy the eye. Okay. If you're suddenly to erase Bobby, pour acid on him, and he totally disappears, I still exist as an as a I self. Okay. As an I self. Might be a little trauma there for a moment. Uh, but soon the same pattern will happen, quite likely a big dark. And then you uh, level you're at opens up and you're in some astral plane, let's say. Okay, depending on you, how far you, 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 you get with this. Did I say too much? Am I confusing the shit out of you? Anyway, basically, the sponge theory is just a reminder to soak, to soak. And again, to sort of know how it works a bit. So when you first see it, that's nice. Good. It's a percentage game. Continue. Easy the eye. Hit them again. More open. Start to feel a little bit. Little bit. Good. Good. Easy the eye. Continue to open. Uh, uh, at that dimensional level world you're in, it, fuller presence there. Fuller presence there at that level, fuller and fuller. As you get fuller and fuller, character will begin to show and easy the eye. You're ready to move on to the next one if, if you want to continue. Or that one's pretty cool. You might want to hang out there for a while. Okay. Did I lose you? Is this, is this too, too simple for you? Where are we? Sensei, thank you for saying that it's a percentage game, too. Always. It, Always. It may not be 100%, but it maybe the character will show as it progresses in that situation, but it's a percentage yeah. game. You see the negative type people, for example, uh, will hit it once, and it's not perfect. And so they'll, ah, that's no good. And, and they'll walk away from the practice. Even though that first beat had a little something, the negative them won't buy it. What a shame. What a shame. See, say my on a heavy day, heavy day not go. Boom. Okay, the shoulders tightening a bit, really catching my attention. This did it. Easy. Easy. Infers a better level. Da, 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 da. And from that better level. Okay. It still felt this a bit. Now, if I'm really negative, it's like, oh no, it's not right yet because my shoulder, I can still feel my shoulder. But if I fine tune it, much less shoulder feeling than the first one. And within there was also a bit of effortlessness, a bit. Okay. And you continue, it's a percentage game. So don't just do one. Uh, when you're practicing, uh, hang out with it, hang out with it. I mean, Aikido, you don't do one technique. You stay with the same technique for minimum 15 minutes, okay? I think in Tokyo, we normally would do 
for a class, 15 minutes each or so. Yeah. Practice, practice. It's okay. <laughs> practice, yeah. Where are we? Sensei, this is Justin. You, you mentioned before our break, our last break, that um, you mentioned the rule of five. Oh, yeah. Same thing. You Hitting it once doesn't, doesn't produce the kind of immersive experience yeah. that it takes to, to really soak in something, but come yeah. at it again, a rule yeah. of five. And I, yeah. on that note, um, as you, you know, I, I work with, with, with clients, I provide some therapy too. Some people that, are, that this process is introduced to that are having panic attacks, you know, as a percentage in, in that frame, with that frame of reference, it's not obvious enough with one or two deep breaths or something, they settled to such a limited degree that it's not obvious yes. and yes. They would, it doesn't work. But if, yeah. you, if you hang out with it, like you've suggested for a little while, then even a person with the most intense <laughs> level of panic comes back to the center that's again. That's to get it, yeah. They're like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. But you got to hit it like you've said. Yeah. It, the the human condition. So I like the way you said there's something about they just do a little bit. And it's not obvious. So they're like, yeah, ah, a little bit. Work. And they do another one that's a little bit. That's a human condition, especially in the heaviers. That, that's what they tend to do. They won't allow themselves to really boom. All right. So at first, you at the level of working with people that you work with, those kind of people, do the best you can with them. As long as they're moving along, as long as you know, you're doing something where they will eventually hit a, a much noticeable level where they say, oh, thank you, doctor. Wow. Kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, something else that you said was nice. Uh, Oh, uh, yeah, it's like the, if we use idea body in its truer sense, it's not my idea, and here's the body, but that pattern, the great concept of creation based on, and all the stuff that uh, responds back as its partner through the whole damn universe creation, uh, that the idea part seems very fast. But the response, it's not that it's dumber or whatever. It's just, it's nature. It, it seems slower and it seems like it needs five pumps to one idea or whatever number you want to make up. Okay. Uh, and, and we have to, I don't know, live with that for a while, accept it, play with it, use it, use it. Use it. If I say, okay, I want to uh, uh, stand better. I'm not saying, you know, one stand. I want, I want to stand better. Okay. Boom. It's being the message is heard by its partner and it starts to gather its forces. I, I can feel it's some swirling going on around there, sense feel. Uh, okay, easy. Is it time yet? Getting close. Here it comes. Whop. Not bad but not perfect. I'm not a perfect stander yet. I'm not even full as a stander. I mean, I came up strong and kind of fast, but not, not yet. Continue. If you want to repeat that again, the, the idea. Ah, there, I like that one. It felt fuller and, uh, and it was kind of a little more gracious in its fullness. Wasn't weaker, but this graciousness was there in its fullness. Uh, and and I, I like playing with the pump. If you want to remind yourself what you're doing, that's fine. But we're uh, increasing, increasing the uh, allowance of the, the, the stuff that responds. The body of it, if you would, whatever words you, you like. Energies, stuff, <laughs> the male energies of creation. I, I kind of think of the idea as the female and this as the male, but wh whichever, whichever form you do, try to stay on your own pattern. Don't switch around to don't, don't confuse you in your own system. So if I say male, you may say, no, 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 that's female. That's fine. Stick to your own pattern until your own system may correct you may not. You might be 
fine for you. Okay, so don't get stuck in exactly certain words, you know. Ah. And don't get too stupid human on me. Is God male or female? Out of this thing, it seems like what I've heard is two forces come out of it. <laughs> okay? And you need to two, get a creation going, but blah, 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 blah. So don't get stupid human on, on no female. No, 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 male. Is I, what, what? Republican. No, no, it's a dem God's Democrat. No, come on. Knock it off, people. <laughs> anyway, where the hell? Hello out there. <laughs> Am I driving you crazy tonight? What? Sponge, sponge. The, the soak. I used to call it in, in the dojo sometimes slurpy. If I'd be standing. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, easy. Slurp it up. It's, 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 a, it's a slurpy. It's just like there's a giant straw here or something. And all that stuff's coming up through the body. And and then, hey, 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 now I'm a little stronger, a little more vibrant, a little, boom, a little pop, pop, responsive. Whatever words, as long as you have the right sense of it. So that's, that's the slurpy. <laughs> Where the hell are we? Help. Since this is Lauren. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing I noticed about the sponge and the sponge theory is that sponge has gone through the ECDI process and ended up through constant pumping all the way down laying on the water. And you showed how the sponge soaks up water, how the self soaks up qualities. Yeah. And in that Especially process- with the addition of deeper, continue, this sense of depth, grounding, rooting. Go ahead, sorry. At that moment, the sponge is supported by the water without effort. It has a buoyancy in its existence. And the sponge is soaking, soaking water in your example, but qualities without effort. It's its nature to soak up the thing that it's supported by. Yeah. Okay, can I, can I throw out a be careful here? Of course. Both words that you use uh, we're like, well, if I just sit on top of the water, let's see if you can remember your, your words, it'll naturally soak up. For the awareness people, I, I sort of can't allow that, if I may say. Oh, I know I'm in the bowl. I, I, I sense, feel it. Oh, it's all going to naturally happen. Right there, we may have a problem. I'm aware it's supposed to naturally happen. I understand how sponges work. It should naturally happen. I would continue opening and going deeper. Involve yourself. I don't know the words. I don't want to get too busy here, but stay active. Continue yes. with the depth and the opening. I, I, I don't want the awareness folks to, to have a reason to stay with the awareness. Sorry, I have to keep going over that over and over, but it's goddamn critical. It's an ancient mistake that's still going on. So that's why I just wanted to be careful with the words. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Bob, can I jump is... in? Uh-oh, here comes Kenny. My tangent, yeah. On a, on, with the tangent? Okay. Well, actually... You, you, you brought it, I think you brought it there already. So, um, you know, one of the slides uh, Lauren shows, uh, the Osensei slides, uh, talks about uh, failure is the key to success. And that one has always really caught me. Um, and, and I think I'm going through a phase of, of trying to fail my way to success. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it is about the I, right? So, a, 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 the, the failure of success is, 
has a lot to do with who's judging it, which eye is looking at it. And then I think this process of going through the finer dimensions um, is, is how we, we extract more learning, more knowledge, more development out of what we call the failure or a success. Is that? Yeah. Um, and also, can we change uh, metaphors? Please. And uh, let's say, uh, I go back to the uh, plant theory. I have to sort of warm up on the plant theory because Patrick in Switzerland is going to interview me about the plant theory in a week or two. Anyway. Uh, potted plant. Potted plant theory, yeah. Uh, we covered that one Friday night, right? You're all fresh with potted plant theory. Uh, so where, where am I going? When it reaches its extreme, where it can't go anymore, it's been doing great, and then suddenly, uh, uh, and it's starting to fade a bit. Yeah. It's an opportunity to go deeper, meaning a shift of dimensional thing. And the eye is at a different level in there, and it produces the next stronger plant or that plant that's now more alive in the proper season, well, however you want to say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. great. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, so I think Osensei is pointing at that, if it doesn't work, how cool, because it really helps you to develop if you know sort of how it works. It didn't work. Oh, let me go a bit deeper. Uh, let's say I'm, 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 go ahead. You always talked about how uh, if if the first technique didn't work in the class, he might step off and and do his uh, hmm? his, his spiral, right? And, his thing, yeah. 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 You see, I, what I saw, was he did something different than the norm. The norm would be to stay in the physical and work it out and do some more and 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 or slow it down. You catch it, you catch it. Uh, and he didn't do any of that outside stuff. He did something that had nothing to do with that. Obvious or obviously, let's say. And he did something that was more sort of within his own thing. And then boom. It's all going to work. Okay. So, where are we? Oh, did, did we? And say this is Patrick. What yes, struck sir. me? What struck me about the sponge is that as it absorbs, it expands. So mm -hmm. there's the drawing in quality, but there's also the kind of filling up and extending out quality that is kind of inextricably linked with it. Yeah, and we even see that a bit in the human con condition. Somebody who's special, boom, they light up the room. Uh, when Schwarzenegger, a friend of mine was at a, an affair where Schwar Schwarzenegger was there, he said it was kicky. He'd walk across the room and the crowd that had been surrounding him would walk across the room and stay crowded around him. He walked across and they'd always be there again. <laughs> Boom, there's something that, that they were partaking of, soaking up. Uh, but they thought it was like, wow, watch that happen. Wherever he'd go, the crowd would just kind of follow. <laughs> but we all have seen and felt people who were a little special. They were on that day. Or they're just special people and they light up the room. So yes, there is an, an, uh, uh, an expanse. Don't we have words like he's bigger than life or? No, I help. Larger, huh? Larger than life. Larger, Larger than life. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's, he's, he's showing bigger than the norm. I mean, the norm is this size. Who the hell is this guy? Because he, he just senses bigger. Uh, did I cut you off, Patrick? <laughs> no, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, 
Bob, may I? Yeah. Who that? Richard. Richard. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, well, I just was thinking about, you know, uh, the example I, I was thinking of was Terry's story. Uh, hang on a second. He had so many. Which one? <laughs> oh, the old man on the train. Yeah. Okay. And um, uh, the thing is, I'm seeing. Okay, so Terry's sitting there. He sees this drunk. The drunk's threatening. Terry's ready to use his physical, whatever you call it, martial arts bullshit. Yeah, all of it. And and this old man sees the drunk in another dimension and touches the drunk in another dimension completely neutralizes any power the guy has in the physical dimension by being in this other dimension does this touch at all where we're in the area we're, we're pointing towards uh i don't know it's it, 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 nice sorry uh <laughs> so let's surmise that this uh old man had a say caring, let's make, make up a word. We don't know, but let's make up a word that he had caringness or understanding within his color scheme. And he tapped that. So that old man with his caring and understanding approached the drunk, listened to him, ended up holding him, whatever, whatever, uh, that they were there. So what, what did, uh, uh, Terry get out of this that there's other ways of handling things and just being a martial artist I, I don't know the, 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 the way Terry writes it or wrote it what he got from it was that the old man diffused the situation with compassion, compassion. Very, okay. compassion. And, and more completely diffused it than Terry would have ever confused uh, uh, settled it by you know, like a confronting yeah. and so the, he took that lesson. Well, uh, to me, it, it, it was this shift into another dimension that's uh, that I thought resonated with where you were going. That's kind of more, more what, what was important to me at this point was that the old man could see the energy of this being in a, in a place that Terry, looking through the physical dimension, couldn't. And that shift, whatever moving towards that shift was, a, you know, when I get into it with someone, I can't let go of it either. And I, I could see, you know, for Terry, he was trained to do that, but the old man saw something completely different and transformed the game. Uh, I don't know, I mean, he seemed to me that it was like he was saying, this was what O Sensei was trying to teach us and I, I finally saw it in this other way or something. I don't know really where Terry was yeah. at. Well, well I, I don't know. <laughs> also, maybe it might depend on the situation or maybe some situation where somebody's gotta be tough there. Okay, there is a, a job for warriors, okay? Right. Yeah. And sometimes, gotta be a warrior, All right? In that case, Terry saw somebody who was better at inner, finer character, whatever, uh, um, that it's not just warrior, warrior, warrior. There are other attributes, potential within everybody's system uh, well, wait, wait, wait. Go I'm, ahead. Yeah, I'm looking at the dichotomy of you know this idea that Osensei was talking about love and throwing people on the ground. Mm -hmm. You know what was the magic of that tremendous yin and yang? Roughly, I don't, I don't mean to put you on the spot. I just oh, these no, questions roughly, are there's a certain level of harmony. When you're at that level, experiencing actually present in an internet world, actually present, then all the forces harmonize. It's not so much he threw them, they, they got thrown. It, it's a happening. Okay. I don't know if I see potentially a dichotomy or some difference there. I'm see, interesting and hard for the human being. Reminds me of when I was in high school and I said to my judo teacher, wow, you're a tough guy. Uh, something about uh, fighting. I forget exactly how I worded it. And he looked at me and said, I don't fight. And now I'm a 16 year old kid or something. He's like, nah, here's a tough guy. Paratrooper, World War II judo guy, really pretty good. 
uh, and he doesn't fight. He doesn't talk about fighting. He doesn't think about fighting. How can that be in my 16 year old mind? It's a bit of a shock. <laughs> anyway, I don't know where I'm going with that. But uh, no, I, I'm, I'm there. The, the time when I said to the guy, well, do you ever use it on the street? And he said, all the time. I said, really, what happened? He said, well, nothing, because I used it the right way. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm waiting for great insights about easy the eye and about, oh, soaking, sponge, deeper, fuller. And through that fuller, fuller, something more should show through there. The character will show through. Now the character will be in his centered, circled world at a better level. And then we can proceed whenever you're ready to proceed. Then we'd easy the eye again to continue through dimensionality, the inner finer dimensionality. Yeah. Hey. Sensei, um, Tom. Yeah. I'm looking at the bowl and the sponge. <clears throat> And over the last 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and I keep seeing a container and I see a sponge that has a limited uh, capacity to soak up those qualities before it starts oozing out. I know in, in my business, I see water getting into a building, it gets to a saturation point and then it's flowing. It's, it get whenever matter gets to a saturation point, then what's saturating it starts to flow from that thing out. And so it's coming, manifesting those qualities out into, yeah. into I, I, instead I, of I like the word suddenly. saturation and, and what happens. I, I like that saturation. Yeah. Talk about a fuller experience. That's what I was trying to get with the fullness of wet, the fullness of wet. Not yes. just a bit of it, not just put your toes in it wet. That's not right. experiential enough. Okay. Right. Uh, it's that yeah. real, and, and that needs a little practice to get really a good sense for that. So that every dimension you're at, you have the capability of having that same sense for it. Uh, so you don't miss out on it and shift into major of awareness, mm -hmm. which will dissipate too fast. It's there's something lacking, as beautiful as the awareness can see, there's something not quite there. Okay, yeah. Which I sense I was trying to show. I, Sorry. Uh, what, I want the, I want to, I want to soak to a point where it's actually saturated to a point where it's emitting those qualities rather than it gets beyond the soaking. Yeah. And. It, you know, in this um, Qigong practice I used to do, or I still do now and again, the bowl is, it's not a container, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's uncontained. And the sponge has an unlimited capacity for soaking in those qualities to a point where those qualities start to become manifest. And... Uh, <laughs> So Hold it, uh, Tom, go, go back on me. Uh, why can't we have a bowl representing a certain dimensional level? Uh, if you continue finer, there'll be a sense of more room. And in a certain way, the bowl is bigger. So in moving through dimensions, of the sense that it's bigger. Right. Okay. It's not a confining thing. It's a adjusting to your location, positioning. Okay. Positioning, it helps you position instead of roaming around and you're sort of aware, but you're, you can't produce or, or something's missing. Right. It's helping you position here and now. Yes. Stay in the here and now, but be finer and it'll eventually emanate, or I like your words, uh, Gushing out the other way. <laughs> it'll, it'll man, yes, it starts, instead of soaking, it starts to manifest those qualities. Yeah. We're going beyond the soaking now. Yeah. So if, if our quality here is uh, 
nice, nice, whatever. Right. Right. And you really, really soaked. And following your layout, uh, right. there would be a certain point of soaking in nice energy, niceness, right. uh, where the character will just naturally be nice. You won't have to think about being nice. He just is nice. <laughs> he exudes niceness. Right. Instead of, I have, to, I have to have an idea that I'm a nicer person. Yeah. Or you say to somebody, I'm nice. And they say, no, you're not. And you go, whoa, and why are you screwing me up here? Why are you being mean? Well, because there's no exuding. They have an idea about nice, but they're not nice. <laughs> right. It's just not actually radiating there. Uh, anyway, I like your words. Um, thank yeah, you. perfect. perfect. Um, right. Sensei. Yes. This is Andrew. I know who it is. Sensei. Go ahead. Okay. Um, this is kind of going back to what you talked about, I guess, earlier today. Um, so. No, level one I, level two I, level three I. Um, wondering if um, if I were to describe the experience of moving through the levels as like the structure is disintegrating and then a new structure were to take its place as like to illustrate the journey throughout the levels, would that be a I guess a correct way. Have you done the one by two by three by? Yes. Okay. I think it lays out there. I think. So you're in the one by and it's kind of tight. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And you got crazy thoughts and you're pissed at everybody and you can't do anything really. Easy. You trade it in, you downtime, you did something. You're moving into a two by two. At first, it's not clear. Maybe a vague sense of, ah, sense of maybe a little more room. Uh, maybe the first sense was, I, it's dark. I, 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 nothing's going on here. I better go back to my one by one and beat that bitchy guy again because there ain't nothing here. Okay. But as you hang out in the two by two, easy, easy. It begins to show what's there. Okay. It begins to show what's there. Ah. Usually, again, more room, some sense of energies in some form, or a sense of qualities. And we'd hang out there, and then they begin to mix. We'll do a slower form. They mix up and down and all around, and they mix up a two-by-twoer. And he's, he's a bit better. The thoughts that were in the one-by-one mind don't exist at that same level. The one by one guy doesn't even want to walk out of his apartment. It's dangerous out there. The two by two, he may say, oh, it's beautiful to go out. What a beautiful day. I don't know what he's going to do. What, what you experience it. But isn't it all in that one by two by three by? I think whatever you're heading for is in there. But maybe I missed something. Go ahead. Continue. It, it kind of feels like... Um... I mean, forgive the metaphor, but it's like a, it's like a, you have a little tiny church. It's tiny, it's yeah, nice, it's quaint. Uh, and then for some reason it gets destroyed, collapsed, whatever. But then a much more beautiful, bigger, more accommodating, larger sized church fills right. in its place, repeat the process, and then sooner or later it becomes a cathedral, whatever. I'm, I'm just... Yeah, fine. Are you using buildings as, as a reference? Yeah, that, I'm using buildings yeah. as a reference. I, I've been through there. I, it goes way back. I haven't seen them lately, but I, I used to get that. Mm -hmm. Cathedrals are not a bad place. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. I forget what, what before that and whatever happened after. But yeah, I've, I've had buildings show as a reference. Yeah. Thank you, Sensei. Yeah. Hey, can I speak, Sensei? It's uh, Mark from New Zealand. If you speak in American English. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite. Uh, Let's do your best. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Um, I'm going, going back to the sponge and, and also uh, Kenny's failure, uh, failure 
joining those two together. I, I find if you, if I haven't soaked long enough and something happens, I'll go screaming back to where I was. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, no, that's but, the law. If you're not grounded there, if you're not, for lack of words, embodied there, bitch, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and there's sort of, uh, for me, there's, there's been learning in that because uh, in, in that failure, I'm saying, oh, hang on, what, what happened? Uh, mm -hmm. That other guy would have been so much better to deal with whatever happened than, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so, and uh, the just, just guy you got like shot that. back into the lesser you, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so just having that experiencing even that that failure was actually a really good learning. It's like, hang on, well, what are you doing? The mm. other guy would have done it better, mm. yeah. The the more the guy who soaked longer, yeah, yeah. yes, so, yes, because yeah. he'd get roots, so like even though he's not a physical body or a tree anymore, but he'd have the roots. Uh, 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 Diana, Florida, you on? I am. Yes, I'm here. Your observation way back in the day in, I don't know, grounding or something, and, and you looked at me in that class, and you said, you're doing something different than the other people. Apparently, in my grounding, I was putting my feet in stirrups, or I... I had a ground connection. You remember? You brought it up. Don't bring up things you're not going to remember 50 years later. What's with you? <laughs> well, you, anyway. you do. I mean, I would, I would say it now. I mean, you do do something different or do you, I mean, your whole teaching is sharing with us what you do. Right. I mean, that's what you're attempting to do, right? Hopefully. <laughs> So that you can do this, the, the important piece. So you can do. <laughs> uh, so you can do you, yes. Uh, to be the glorious you that we all know is there and is available to the lesser you. <laughs> Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. The feet. Anyway, uh, just this sense of, of roots, uh, a better sense of the experience of depth, and I was just trying to have her remember because she said, it looks like your feet are in stirrups or uh, bolted down. Whereas other people just sort of had something going down, but they weren't bolted down. And she pointed that out. I was like, oh, let me check this out. And that's what we're sort of talking about with the more of the experience. Uh, the depths will help this sense of roots will help. That's why I sense they like the word. That's why uh, Chinese martial artists passed away. Bruce Noah? Lee. Bruce Lee. Thank you. Bruce Lee loved the roots. So without roots, you guys are all bullshit because there's no actual beingness there. Okay, so at whatever level, very important, and continue with them because it goes on, it goes the distance, this, this sense of depth, which will take care of the height, and the height will touch the depth. And uh, so, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, uh, soaking, experiential. Uh, And don't mind if it takes a little more time. That's so one to five really means. Don't don't mind if if it takes a little more time to experience. It's okay. It's just how it works. Again, later with practice and practice, it'll probably get much much faster. But don't worry about speed because I don't want you to have an idea about speed and bullshit yourself and not really be actually actually. Okay, what we don't need is spiritual bullshitters kind of thing. <laughs> I think we have a few out there in the world, unfortunately. Uh, we don't need more. Uh, we're eating up time, so anything to... Hi, it's Justin again. I just wanted to share some thoughts, maybe a, a brief comment on your 
use of the bowl and the water and this this ability to, or this may be a recommendation to practice most often when it's easy. You see that the bowl and the water are very steady and it's easy to soak yourself in it. It's like learning to swim in a pool versus learning to swim in a stormy sea, you know, where a white belt is a white belt, but you might not throw them in with multiple attackers on day one. Yeah. Practice a lot yeah. when it's easy so that, uh, you know, you can, without feeling um, preoccupied, maybe as a character immersing into, we can hang out with it longer yeah. some, somehow. Yeah, I was, uh, if I'm following you, if I heard you, uh, but I was thinking about something t today uh, about uh, a particular person in a particular situation, but of how you can take a particular situation that could, uh, and because of the energies that are going on there, put you in a tizzy, where you uh, run around about the situation that happened or almost happened or something, and you go, nah, 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 nah. and that's kind of fun. You're in a tizzy, tizzying other people. Where instead of doing that, there's nothing wrong, it's a human thing to do. Instead of, huh, now, let me replay that. What, how could I have settled and open? What were the energies trying to do? Who would I eventually be in that situation? Uh, to use that as a practice. Now, whether I tizzy or say, mm, I think I'll practice with this. That's, that's mm, what? Uh, that's your call. You have a choice. And it's also, I gotta be careful not to say a negative thing here, but it's also where we separate out maybe the true seekers for the dilettantes. They'd rather go into the tizzy for a while instead of, hmm, let me, let me hit this a different way. Did I sort of say that right? Yeah. And I know on, hard cases where the energy is and stuff. Not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, and if you can't do it at the moment, replay it wasn't created by RCA or whoever. You can replay and those energies will all be there again as you replay. Okay, so if you say, well, that guy almost ran me over in the car yesterday. So therefore, I got a lot of energies. What were the energies trying to do? And you can replay them. And the energies that were there uh, when the guy almost ran you over are, are here now. You can replay the ability to replay exists in the creation. Otherwise, we wouldn't have that invention capability on your damn TV set. It, it already exists in its own form in the universe so you can replay yeah so anyway tizzy choose to do this if it's too much or whatever choose to do this the next day or whatever i, I like that pattern by the way <laughs> i think we're getting close to the end people and we are sensei i want to thank you very much for Sponge theory. Okay. And uh, fantastic, huh? Anyway. Uh, I, I think but, Dennis Kriakos better watch out. Uh, now I got to go wash dishes, you know, so. Anybody else have?